All right, so guys, this is the the last chance, the last night. All right, I came in late. There's the last chance to see this new character, this new DLC. It's a public test. I have no idea what to expect. Just going in blind. Let's see what it's all about. The last divinity. New clan unlocked. Wormkin. Resurrect the reclusive Wormkin. These keepers of Titan lore and history bring the power they've stored over millennia of dedicated study and isolation. Interesting. All right. Wormkin and random. Now, I probably shouldn't do a Covenant 25 because I haven't played in four months. Four months. And it's a brand new clan. So I'm going to be a pansy. And just see how it looks with no Covenant. That's pretty pansy, isn't it? It's pretty pansy, isn't it? No, it's okay. Let's no, take everything off for a little bit. All right, so I have no idea what this clan does. All right, let's take a look at this. Spine Chief and Sharded. At the end of the turn, the unit takes damage equal to the amount of... For each stack of Reap. Ah, it's like poison. It takes damage equal to each stack of Reap. Add... Wait, I guess what is that? What am I looking at? What is that? What is that? All right, we'll, we'll find out. Let's get it right in there. What's up, Rolex? Oh, we, we started doing like hard speed runs and stuff. But I can get back to that. Oh, first off, let me remove this. Okay. I'm Baku. Hey, welcome back, man. All right, so we got Talos, Arcus, and Seraph. Now we have Echo Infusion. Extract one. Extract as an additional cost to play this card. You will use this resource. It looks like a waffle with like jelly. It looks like a jelly waffle to me. However, it also looks like a ruby as well, like a shiny ruby that's multicolored. It looks sort of like ice cream. I'm gonna call it a jelly waffle. I'm not sure what I want to call it yet. Does it have a name? Because it, it only, it's like Prince. It's just introducing the symbol, but not telling me its name. So I don't know how to actually refer to the symbol. Am I crazy? They didn't give a name to the symbol. Can I hover and see the name? Charged Echoes? Oh, it says Charged Echoes. Right. Okay. So add Charged Echoes by playing Infused Cars. The worm can use the Echoes. To power spells and abilities. Echoes can exceed, but excess echoes will be removed at the end of turn. My secondary class is the Stygian. Extract. So I will spend one echo to play this, and as a cause, I can give plus 10 health to a unit? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Take on Pack Shards in exchange for rewards. The more you have, the more powerful your enemies will grow. If you defeat Seraph with a hundred or more, you will unlock the true final battle. This is new. Almost like the heart. Wait a minute. This is like getting the gemstones. If you get a hundred, it's not just the Seraph. It's the final battle. It's something greater. I like that. Gain an artifact and 15. Okay, let's do this. First and foremost, you just get an extra upgrade slot. Deal I love Jack Strips. Now, I don't know how crazy the game has gotten. But Jack Trips is just all reliable, right? When you play your third card of the turn, draw one. Deal five damage to the back enemy unit when one or more are added. I don't know how this class works, but something about this looks good. It interacts with my gemstones, my jelly waffles, and it does damage. I'm taking it. Alright, my champion has some upgrades. The Decayer versus the Corrupt. Inspire. When a gemstone is added to a floor, for each gemstone added, apply to reap to enemy units. And reap is like poison, I guess we could say. The other hand is friendly units just have extra damage per gemstone. 
What is better? This is a tough choice. I gotta experiment. Let's try this. Spine Chief. Alright, the Gather Clergy. Angry Hordes are swarming your train. Thin their numbers before they reach your pyre. We can give them armor and get a unit. Absolutely. I ain't scared. Let's reap these foes. Build up charge echoes to empower Wormkin units and spells on that floor. Echoes that exceed the available slots will disappear at the end of turn. Play infuse cards to add to that floor. The Wormkin starting artifact Wormtooth applies infuse to your starter cards and one card per draft. It applies infused to my starter cards. That's insane. Hello? So, who do I apply the reap to? Wait. The enemies, yeah? Of course. Let's do that again. And what if we do it again? Well, they're already all dying, so let's go put this guy up top. Goodbye. Douche. Skadoosh. Now, if I extract one. And push this guy back. We don't die. However, I don't get 50 gold. And this is the problem of having your main guy in the bottom floor. Huh. I might lose here. Let's see. Alright, we're going against the clergy. Alright, so we could do extraction. Or we can do. So, Crypto is pretty awkward with my deck right now. I must say. This guy's. It's not like. Don't think we win this. Perhaps. Perhaps it's doable. Perhaps it's doable, yeah? We did it. All right. Who could have been a lot worse? All right. Implied infused to cast your hand. Bogfly gains five attack per echo. Apply. Okay, I'm taking Bogfly. Are you kidding me? Ice Nado's back. Attunes. Discard a card at random. I'm taking it because I need some discard. My deck has some big old crypt builders. This is infused and supply spell weakness, which is interesting. Where were this is summon. This gives you 10 health, 10 attack, and one space per Yes, that sounds that sounds amazing. Although this is good AoE, guys. This is AoE. Now we have Reap. Our, our, our champion is AoE. 
We have the AOE Reap. All right. What I want to upgrade is one of these units. But I don't have gold. However, I want to see more of these cute pink Wernkim units. So I kind of want to see this. All right, let's take a look. What would we upgrade in this deck? I want to upgrade Bogfly. Give him multi-strike, ideally. Although you'll notice I'm broke. Also, we're not on high covenant, so maybe I'm not broke. All right, so we're going to go here. Because if we get multi-strike, are the prices the same? We got large stone. That's a good one. Put large stone on this bad boy. All of a sudden, that's a card I want to duplicate. I could have looked at the unit first. That was my bad. I got excited. When you play a floor, when you play a spell on this floor, this gets encant. So now I'm gonna be reaping, we're encanting. Spell weakness. Let's see how good spell weakness really is for us. Let's take a look. There are times where spell weakness can empower our crypt builder. You know what? Let's go for it. Accept shards in exchange for upgrading spells or combining units. Excuse me, divine temple. You can upgrade a spell and give it plus 10 magic power and piercing, make the whole game harder. Upgrade a spell with plus 30 magic power, or sacrifice a unit to infuse its essence into another unit. Do you mean to tell me I can make my Bogfly's ability land on the Kin Host's carapace? So, what this guy wants next is uh, he wants multi strike. Absolutely. And this would be the best unit in the game. Although, I need a lot of space for that. Should we Should we make... Bogfly into... So Essences doesn't take up upgrade slot? Should we try this whole Bogfly thing? Wait, what if we give Kinhost sweep? Wait, does, is this part of her essence? I'm just curious. Back seat me here. Is sweep part of her essence? Can I apply that to the Kinhost? Or is her essence the spell weakness? There's a button. Ah, show the essence. Her essence is plus five. Oh. Oh. All right. I see your essence now. Look at that one more time. Let's look at that one more time. Plus F health and plus F attack per thing. I don't like these that much. Do I want anything that has piercing? This gives me 30 magic spell. 30 magic spell is interesting. For an AoE spell. Which I don't currently have. I'm gonna skip here. Although those are those are interesting. Try the bog fly on the kin host, just to try it. You know what we could do is give our sweeper the bog fly ability. And now our sweeper has got some big old hitties. Absolutely. AoE's no problem now. I'll take it. Threat level. As you gain more shards, more enemies before the boss will be upgraded and the boss itself will grow stronger. This is at extreme threat level. I repeat, extreme threat level. Wow. We're at 48 of 100 and they're already warning me. But look at Mr. Bogfly. Ah, I see. So here's what I want to do. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. Now it's important. That I get some shards, because when I put the Kinhost, I want the Kinhost to be a... Oof. I want the Kinhost to be a strong, strong boy. And these guys died of Jack Strips up top. If I infuse one more time... This Kinhost is about to be huge. Should 
Should I wait? Nah, this is good enough. Boom! Let's extract here, keep this guy alive, yeah? By extracting, I make her weaker. I will keep it just the way it is. I could extract down here, make him stronger. He's probably gonna win the game by himself. Okay, um, I guess if I do another slot here, I get I can make the sweeper even stronger. So what I want to do is let's kill this man. Let's do this. Put this up top. Our deck is really cool right now. So now we have this guy's gonna win by himself. Well, ain't that something? Okay, now this is MVP. Look at him go. Douche, 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 douche. Yes, sir. I can extract even after he's already summoned because it's on summons, and then I can extract that willy nilly. So, for instance, I could do. You know what? You did your purpose, kid. Notes. Let me extract those and give you fifteen. I can also do that and give fifteen to my sweeper, if need be. Why do I like echo transfer? I mean, you're just applying fifteen strength to a unit. I'm doing it. Kid host shenanigans. Apply frostbite. I like the offering token here. Just a little bit. I got these two crit builders in my deck. We can get an artifact or upgrade. I want to find multi strike. We find multi strike, we win the game, yeah? I agree. Multi strike, we win the game. Oh, there once was a strike and a multi strike. Holy crap. Holy crap. Say it ain't so, man. I will not go. Turn the lights off. Carry me home. Let's see what the caverns have for us. Well, GG. Watch me lose it anyways. A penance yacht comes into view. It's truly terrible sights. Dead hellborn from across the nine rings of hell are strung up as atonement just for existing. The base of these awful contraptions are some familiar blights. But peeking through, you can see something value underneath the rubble. Which pile do you inspect further? If I remember... <clears throat> Every bite in your deck, you get plus two. Cosmic numbers become stronger later on. Right? Cosmic numbers become the, the good draw things, yeah? Do it. The one with Ember. The Kinos is about to carry. Oh, that isn't that event? Oh, too late. This is just... Ah, uh, this is just the event where <laughs> you play the Blight, you do damage. It's still useful. Mid-game. So what essences do we have right now? I can sacrifice one of my train swords, make the game even harder, and apply it. With, I just, I'm not there right now. Upgrade a spell and give it Purge. Upgrade a spell to, say, create a copy with Purge and plus one when played. Twin Stone? That's brand new. When you play a spell, you get a copy with extra energy. Now, how could that be useful in this deck? Oh, that's insane, Baku. Make a spell cheaper? What would I make cheaper? I'm not really in a position to take any of these. Twin Stone's cool, though. That's all right, guys. I don't care. I have these blights that I could use for damage. It's okay. Talos, the architects. Threat level is not that high. But I gotta get to 100 because we gotta fight the heart, yeah? Or whatever whatever this is gonna be. Friendly units enter with sap. And the attacks apply days. So first and foremost, let's get a really big kin host. Let's set that up. So let's go ahead and just uh, infuse. Gorgeous. I gotta find a place to infuse and then put the kin hosts. So it's gonna take some time. Give it a sec. Um, I once got this event, so I got it really early enough that I got a shot to remove consume and add plus one cost to a card, so then I put that on destroy an enemy unit card. You just broke the game and you didn't even share this with everybody? 
But let's do this, yeah? But I gotta do some infusing stuff because I gotta scale up my... This is awkward, guys. But I gotta do this. Actually, I need to put infuse in a different lane. Unless I'm just putting... Kindles is gonna come here and replace. This is more proactive. Ah, Talos is doing days right off the start. That's correct. I knew this. Apply some attack here. Sure, why not? I have an awkward amount of uh, extraction versus. It's a little bit awkward here because. Go straight. Ah, they're gonna die, so this is fine. It's put Kinos in the middle lane. Because I only need two slots to summon him, so Kinos in the middle lane wins the game. I don't need, I only need two, two slots to summon him, so let's do this. That guy's dead. Let's put Reap over here. this guy up top just get him out of the deck over here that person's gonna die to jack strips um and then we're gonna put kin host in the mid lane where all my infusion is at and we're gonna say what about me now oh actually we could do it even here we could technically do it here but i can get more bang for my buck by putting it here and relaxing so let's do that i should put him in the back although he's gonna be a huge boy it doesn't really matter. Let's do it like that. GG. G and now I can extract. Because he's already did his job. GG. Can extract again. You know what? Extract one more time. You know what? Let's do that one more time. I could blight if I wanted to, but I won't. Ah, GG. Cool, cool, cool class. I know I like to make some thick boys. Um, so you consume this, you apply Staff and Frostbite, and this applies magic power to spells in your hand, and return five consuming spells to the top of your drop pile. Now what do I consume in my deck? I consume Forgotten Trade. And that's about it. All right, so we know what we don't want. I think Spike Stitch is pretty nice. I'll take it. So using the track after you've got an extra on the floor is fine. Ah, okay. Shell 8. Units will hatch when all shells removed. This will create a... Kinhos Pupa. 20 armor. 50-10. <laughs> apply reap to all enemy units. No, uh, when it strikes, it hit, applies reap to the enemy units that it strikes. Okay. And how do you... It takes eight turns. It takes eight turns to make this thing summon. It's so you put this on the top lane and you wait eight turns. The stacks on the egg transfer to the baby. So if I put multi strike or if I put health. Ah, so it's just per thing. Okay, let's just try this. This sounds interesting. We gotta try this out. Go for energy here. Let's go for card draw, I feel like. Actually, let's take a look. Energy or card draw here? Uh, I wouldn't mind card draw. I wouldn't mind energy. <laughs> what do I care about more? I'm going to do energy here. Although Cardra looks kind of nice. Alright. Whoa. Gain a... Oh, yes. Wait. I want to click... Well. Could I have gone to the left and clicked this? 
Or was it this exclusively to the right path? Because I would like to duplicate my kin host. Well, too late. Operation to remove consuming cost plus one. So doesn't that make this become a an energy card? Check this out. Check this out. This, this, bear with me. Forgotten trade, gain energy per per thing, right? Per gemstone. All right. And then I make this cost nothing. So now we're just gaining energy. And now I'm asking myself, hey, I think you want to go back and give yourself card draw. So let's get some card draw, please. Because now we have a super nice energy source. Very well then. I want to duplicate King Lewis, so we'll try to get that at some point. Inspire units, let's do this. Although, this corrupt thing is pretty good because I have multi strike, and it's okay. Actually, that's pretty good. Let's do this. Let's make sure our AoE is on point. Already. I know that was a little bit of a moment of indecision, but we ultimately came to a decision. These clips have enlisted conduits to help them ascend your train more quickly. Remove the conduit and the clips will become more vulnerable. The start of the battle, enemies appear on each floor. Absolutely. So far, the train has been kind. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and... Wow, these guys are all going to die, so it's okay by me. I must say so myself. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Do that. I'm going to discard this guy because we don't care about him at the moment. I'll let this guy die. Sorry, buddy. You are kind of nice. And we really need card troll, so let's try to manifest that. Pyre's untouched. Um, this would be a good time to do a Cosmite Ember. I kind of want to play this Kinho somewhere, right? It'll come back to us. It'll come back to us. And now the little guy up top got me gold. Glorious. Oh, look at all these infusions. Whoa. The essence of bot flies within you. What's up, Easy Pig? So, I wish I could. Okay, this guy is not going to do any damage, and this guy's going to die, yeah? Ah, no, I need to do this, and now that guy's dead. Of course, the reap only happens if there's a. Ah! Well, well, well. Now it makes sense. Reap makes a whole bunch of sense. It has all clicked with me. It has all clicked with me. Thirty six damage. Incredible. Incredible. So this is paid DLC if you're free. The last day of the paid DLC for free. The last day. Don't leak. I cannot leak. I would not let myself leak. But now we need two space in order... Okay, so this kin house is not happening. But what we need is... We'll try the kin house. Alright, we'll try it. I need cards real badly. I need to make some infusions for my kin house to pop off. Which means... I just gotta make some random stuff here. What if I kill my own unit? Can I kill my own unit? I have space up here. Ha <laughs> ha I've got space up here. 
Ah, but Kinos can be so much bigger. He can be so much bigger. Oh well. Should be enough to win. I didn't take advantage of the reap on the boss there. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Oh no 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 no. Alright, Kenos, you got this, yeah? Atta boy. <laughs> GG. New faction is very fun. I'm enjoying it. Very, very fun. Extract three, infuse, draw three. Whoa, this is the draw I was talking about. But, uh, though I don't have three gems to extract that easily. Fill slots with all gemstones. Apply emigrant to friendly and enemy units. Ooh. So this gives me... This is actually pretty good. This fills my slots immediately, and then I have a massive kin host. I'm doing it. Though that was the card draw. And we'll find card draw again. I just feel like Soul Siphon makes too much sense. What is this? Time has never held sway over my existence. What would pass as seconds for me are endless eternities in this world. Either existence of a little con consequence. And yet you were able to take the child and the mother from me. I do not feel as if you small beings do, but I did contract. So I've contracted time to a circle. There is no end, only beginning again, forever. Replace your precious pyre or leave hell to freeze. It has no meaning. You are doomed to repeat your struggle over and over. That is your punishment. Even my own defeat, temporary. You feel your being begin to contract. Do you submit? I submit. Units cause negative four, remove after one battle. Enemies get negative two, remove after one battle. Apply days when enemy unit enters your train, remove after one battle. How about I get some gold? Oh. Really? Why is blind a bad thing? Oh, this, this, they thought blind playthrough was like a stupid term? Ableism. That's ableistic in their, in their minds? I would never guess. Interesting. Either way, YouTube is wondering what I'm going to take here. I think I'm taking gold. Your power was created here, did you know? The titans of the elements created by the mother to carve out this very world sacrificed at Herzl's request. Infused into the very life force you carry aboard that vehicle. And all that sacrifice for what? I have no idea how that thing's supposed to sound. Alright. So, you want to duplicate, right? Alright guys, Kinos time. Time for a big old Kinos times two. Upgrade a spell to gain double stack. What would like double stack around here? I could double stack this and do... 30 strength? Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. <laughs> no, 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 no. Excuse me? Did you see what I just saw? <laughs> Unbelievable. How about this? Double stack. Spike of decision. Wait. Yes. Purge this freakish train steward. Alright guys, and we're gonna duplicate this massive kinos. You guys may not understand what's going on right now. We'll take a look. Before I do that... Alright, I'm clicking it, because I, I, I... Wait, this is remove. Holy... Shit. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? If I... <laughs> it's been four months, guys. Oh, this is two cards. Say it ain't so. Well, I'll tell you what. This Echo Infusion has got to go. It's complete trash. Divine Temple. All right. You can sacrifice a unit to gain an essence or upgrade a spell to make it cost two less. 
Well, I want to hit 100. And I don't think we're running out of time. So what I'm going to do... Is I want to make some... I want to get 100. So how do we do this? I don't even have enough units to get the essence. This has armor and strike reap to enemy units. Could I technically take the essence of this kin host and put it into the silophite? Sil silophite? Can I have multiple essence on a, on a unit? Should we try? See if we can get multiple essence? Only one essence per unit. Well, that answers my question. Cool. Well, regardless, I still want to get some some bad naughty points so I can fight the final boss. So what do we do here? I figured it out. This becomes piercing. Quite simple, really. You know what? I'm good on gold. <laughs> I'm not gonna mess around here, but also... Man, this is quite awkward. Um, I have an idea. I do that, yeah? And then, Kin Host. That's one big ass dude. Hello? That man's massive. They made this man extremely massive. Overcharged tank. Tank. Holy mackerel. Extract. And I could... This guy's dead regardless though. So let's just do this. Carry on. We're smacking it right now. Absolutely killing it. This guy could die to anything. Just any infusion will kill him, but this will have to do. And let me extract and give you a lot of damage. Look at this. Ooh, 70 times 2. Rookie numbers. Absolute rookie numbers. And this would be GG, I think. Let's preserve this life of yours. But insist that you get yourself some orbs to mess with. Hi. Should I sap you to death? I feel like I should. Check this out. Check this out, guys. Oh my lord. That isn't even right. My kin host didn't get to play. Oh well. So reap does damage per stack of uh, of of gemstones or per stack of echoes. Uh, I guess I'll show you how it looks. Apply thirteen reap. Return a consume spell. Yes. Send enemies. This was frozen, then yes. If this was frozen, I would take this 100% of the time. I'll take it. Some damage per gem. Alright. Where's duplicate? Where's duplicate, guys? There it is. Oh, okay, we have to look at it next time. Okay, beautiful. We want to find frozen, right? Let's go. Oh, that's an artifact. Ooh, a divine artifact. Spells get an extra s a slot or merchant costs are reduced. Let's get spells get an extra slot. Yes, yes, yes. Let's take a look at what we got here. 
Double stack the double stack. Six days. That's positively bonkers. Wait, this actually works that way? What? Holy. That is a beautiful change. And they changed the way match power works? Am I crazy or... Look at that. Oh my god, that feels good. And they changed the way Magic Fire works, guys. Look at this. 225 damage. Oh, attuned spells gain five times the benefit of magic power. That makes a lot of sense. This thing's attuned. That makes a whole bunch of sense. Permafrost is exactly what I was looking for. I want permafrost on this thing right here. So it never leak again. And what needs to go is this trap. This car right here needs to go. Goodbye. Sayonara, buddy. And you know what else needs to go? This script builder. You gotta go, buddy. Some cool buffs, man. Honestly, I'm seeing all these buffs for the first time. The game feels cool. We are almost at the full packed. You can summon Looming Dark Shard and Shattering Dark Shard. Let's see how this goes. Cinephalia. Okay, so, first and foremost, Spire Chief. I meant to say Spine Chief. Sorry, Spire's in my mind. Our Icy Silifate. This is Infuse, but... This is also Infuse. Oh, this is awkward. Put this guy up top. Um... This is awkward. I wish... So the frostbite is still gonna do damage over time, yeah? It's not the worst. Get it out of my deck. Get it out of my deck and also it makes my sweeper do more damage. Just do it. Oh, it's about weakness. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I wish I had ice cream. This would be a great time for ice cream. What if I just kill this thing right now? Get it out of my deck. Hey, yeah, you know, I don't care about these things anymore. I don't need them anymore. Alright, this is going to be consumed, but that's some damage. Let's extract from my sweeper in the back. Actually, let's get some shards in another lane. Let's get some shards in the top lane. Fair enough. Although, remember... Whenever I add a gem, I do 5 damage to the back. It's very, very good. Alright. I have Soul Siphon for this very reason. I Soul Siphon this right here. Kinhos is going to have a blast. So Reap does, uh, for each gemstone, it's going to do damage. Each stack of reap, so it has eight reap. So eight, eight times five is forty, and over here it's eight. Sorry, six times five is thirty. Decent damage. I'm trying keeping track of that. All right, I can put my guy right here. Now I could overstack a lane, right? I could overstack a lane. Now I'm curious.
how do I go over four? Can I use... Where's my consume stuff? Huh. So I can go over four, yeah? But this only fills empty slots. That's unfortunate. How do I go over? Something like this. Ah, we go over like this, yeah? So we do this. Then that goes over. Massive. This gives us energy. And then we can bring back the Crib Builder. Or Spike of the Stygian. How about this? Forgot to mention, guys. I was making my spells more expensive. Now Siren Song is too expensive for me. Shouldn't matter. I wanna, I wanna play Spike of the Stygian here. So it does have reap, so if I get some if I add like things like this. I'm gonna get some reap damage. Oh the sound sound's gonna be too expensive. We're not gonna need it anymore. Should be GG. Should be GG. This is cool. It's my first time playing this. It's been four months, but I, f I feel like I know what I'm doing a little bit. Like I'm getting, I'm learning it a little bit. This is a tuned and it's infused. Wow. This a tuned thing is cool. It's pretty good because we apply spell weakness. Yeah. All right, okay, let's do it. Pyre bound to tuned infused. I'll do it. Card draw. I kind of want a card draw here. Still want card draw. There's a boss ability as it so it passively makes things more expensive. What does this do? Ooh, so we're oh, we're about to get So we, we duplicate Kinos first and foremost, yeah. Alright, this is gonna be brutal. A brutal one into this game. You ready guys? Duplicate. Heal for no reason. Remove the bad stuff, such as, uh... Hmm. It's Kino's Vessel's pretty trash. <laughs> it's pretty trash. This is pretty trash. Uh, I don't hate it. I get it out of the deck. All right. Give me this. When the second unit, you summon the second unit during a turn, you gain three energy. Uh, Hell's Banner. We have one more chance, right? Okay, we're about to get to the ninety pact. Oh yes, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's exactly a hundred. The Decayer level three. Let's go ahead and kill this. Oh, it feels so good. I actually like Monster Train. It feels nice. Cause like we're getting strong. Should I do the gold? Ah, I don't want to mess around with it. We're getting strong, but like I can feel like the end is near, and I'm ready to take it on. It's a lot of energy that I can't do anything with. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
you get a kingdom help. I can make it Siren Song, or I could do uh... I just can kill it. All right, that's fine. I'm content with this. I'm content with this. All right, so Soul, Soul Siphon can host. Ready? Uh, but before we do that, so t yes, all right. Infuse, infuse. It's doing damage. Kinost. Boom! And then we'll do another big infusion at the top. Kinost on the top. Unfortunately, these guys in the bottom are gonna start getting through our defenses. Oh well. What can I say? Extract. I can't... I can't put the kindles where I want it to be. Ah, but down here. But of course. But of course. Okay, that's gonna be an interesting turn. Alright, so first and foremost, let's handle this guy up top. Thank you. Let's reap. Forgotten trade. This thing's insane. Jesus. I almost didn't make it. I almost didn't make it. <sighs> Return a spell card from the discard part to your hand and apply infuse, minus one, and consume. Cool. This this gets me my kinos out faster. It was twenty damage for each spell in the consume pile. Hmm. Discard your hand, draw five. Yes. Yes, sir. Sap is rescuing me every single time. All right. So we can remove two more cards, or we can upgrade some spells. Let's upgrade some spells. I could duplicate Kindles one more time, but I don't even have the space for that. I'll do this. Gold. Over here, let's check out this. Get the perfect pack. We're going to have the final boss. Let's see what this trinket shop has first. Absolute trash. I've never seen more trash in a shop. This might have the worst artifacts in the game. Anyways, let's go check out the spells. Something's attuned here. Ooh, the attuned is nice. Ooh, the attuned is powerful. 125 pierce, that's powerful. That's powerful. Okay. Let's go re-roll the trinkets. What? Base charge? The top floor starts with each battle with an unremovable echo. These are nuts! What? These are nuts. This is the tunes. But I kind of like Ice Empire. Nah, let's do that. Alright, GG. I think we're fine, guys. I say that now, but we have 100 packs, and let's see what happens. Seraph. Cleanse all units of effects for zone benefit. Okay, cool. Okay. 
Okay. Soul Seven is no longer as good. Six days. I'm gonna stack days on the boss. That's the goal. Every time the boss is near that, I'm gonna magically get. Oh wait. Yeah. Never mind. Forget what I said. Forget everything I said. I mean, that last divinity, oh no. Don't tell me. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. It'll be a learning lesson after all. Wow. This thing's insane. This doesn't count towards... Mendable? Oh, the five damage is going to her. <laughs> oh no. The five damage is going to her. That's tragic. Well, goodbye, Spine Chief. You served us well. Lesson learned. Don't put your spine sheep in the front. He's not a tank. Not even close. He's not a tank. Not even close. I can bring back my champion? Nani? Nani. Sir, you're looking at your consuming pile. You weren't looking at the spell. Makes sense. Beautiful. So we want to ice empire, yeah? Ah, but that has consumed. I want to wait for that spell weakness. The spell weakness is going to be beautiful. I kind of want to daze this. Although the daze doesn't last very long. crystals one thing's for sure they did a good job with um, the visualizations here are you telling me you're trying to kill my guy you know what the problem is this thing Why does that have to, why does it happen at the end of the turn? Why does it happen at the end of turn? This girl being in the way means that the adding the new ones doesn't hit the guy in the back. Ah. Ah, we lose. All of a sudden it's just over. It's just over. I need a way to target this guy in particular. It's a little bit of a problem here. That's 
tiny bit of a problem. Uh, like a massive problem. I need to spell weakness. That didn't kill him? Somehow that's enough to win. Because the sap saved my ass. The sap saved my ass. <laughs> Alright, guys, and here we are. The final, true final act. The last divinity. Either in victory or defeat, the divinity's endless destruction rages on. Threat level is only two. This guy's kind of beautiful. Purify and Trample, 0 attack, 2,500 health. After debuff deals damage to this unit, remove that debuff. By Reap, when attacking, exit damage is applied to the subsequent enemy unit. Divine Intervention, gain Shard of Divinity. The last Divinity attacks your Pyre every turn. Its damage inc increases for every 10 shards. Wait, this attacks my pyre every turn, and for every 10 shards, it increases. I had 100 shards. So I sapped the Seraph to death. I sapped, the, the sap card was, won me the game in every fight. All right, good luck. This guy is a maniac. Am I seeing this properly? On one floor, he has multi strike. On the other floor, this guy is sweeping. And 13 damage to the power at the end of each turn. And on this floor, this guy is trampling. This is one massive lad. Alrighty. Carry on. Remember, this guy's not a tank, but he sort of is a tank as well. Should I just do the spike now? I mean... That's 100 Frostbite. How much damage is that? We should certainly wait, yeah? We should certainly wait. Oh my god, his passive removes debuffs. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. A lot of energy not utilized. Can I daze him from top? Holy macaroni! Oh, see, you're big, but that's a problem. Because I can hit you from anywhere. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so we want to make a big-ass kin host, yeah? That's the goal. This. This. I kind of want to pierce here. I want to prevent the leakage. I'm going to do this. GG. Ah, goodbye, Spine Chief. How dangerous is that? How bad is it that I'm losing my Spine Chief? So where we did the analysis, it's quite bad. Well, this is how it ends, isn't it? 
You know what I realized, guys? I don't have AoE. That's a massive problem. My AoE is a unit. I mean, she's dead. I don't know why I did that. I, I just wasted it. I just wasted it. Alright, we might be dead here, boys. But it's a learning lesson. Put him in the multi-strike lane, which is not the greatest. Alright, and make room for a beautiful, strong kin, po uh, kin host. He's still dazed in the top lane. It's kind of cool. Oof. I gotta, I gotta hold on with this kin host here. Ooh, wait a minute. Did I just read this properly, guys? These guys gain three after each combat. Oh, boy. And if I do damage with the frostbite, well, it's gone. But the sap doesn't matter. That's not the problem. That's not the problem here. Hmm. Five more waves. Five more waves. So what I want to do is broken memories. So that's broken memories on deep offering. I made these guys stronger. All right. All right, so Siren Song is going to be very important here, guys. Siren Song is a lifesaver. So we need... The problem is I want to make a massive kin host, so... Um... It's tough because I want to do Siren Song, but also a massive kin host. Where's the card that gives me energy? Where's the card that gives me energy, guys? Is it gone? Why can't I find it? Forgotten trade, where is it? It's right over here. Hmm. Huh. Well, this is necessary. I have to draw back into... So, hear me out. I have to draw back into... Um, Siren Song to win. <laughs> Siren's Lung is like super crucial. I need to draw into it again. I <laughs> we did. Oh boy. 
Any doubters? Any doubters? Hallelujah. And then we draw a kin host for the next wave. I'm being saved by two cards. So Cypher should have been played, it's bad, bad stuff. Oh boy. Why is that guy so strong? doesn't do anything <laughs> they don't do anything siren song for one more wave and I win wait this is not the end how about how about, how about who what I gotta survive these last two waves. Is that what you're saying? Oh, we might be dead. Excuse me? GG, sir. It would be said. Imagine. It's a strong boss, super strong boss, and I kill it first try. I wouldn't be happy. It's a cool class. Wormkin. I gotta mess around with these class these cards.